Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video, we're going to be bringing you guys another quick Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today, we're going to be showing you guys how to create widescreen bars in Adobe Premiere Pro. So, if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, these are widescreen bars, essentially, where the video has some letterboxed widescreen bars on the top and the bottom. Now, this is used in a lot of like cinematic, film, or sketch type things. You can use this to make your projects look a lot better in whatever different scenario that you want to add in widescreen screen bars. But today we're going to show you how to turn normal footage, which is like this, normal 1920 by 1080 without any widescreen bars, and we're going to show you how to turn them into this with widescreen bars on them. So I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro right here, and I was using Final Cut Pro 7 before, I still use that, but I'm trying to slowly make myself use Adobe Premiere Pro to uh, get up with the times. And one thing that I missed from Final Cut Pro 7 is that Final Cut Pro had a built-in plugin for widescreen bars. You would just click a couple buttons and then it would add widescreen bars in right there. And unfortunately, Adobe Premiere Pro doesn't have a widescreen bar plugin or preset or whatever. You have to make them yourself. And so today I'm going to show you a really quick, simple way to make the widescreen bars in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now what I did to make this first was I took a screenshot of a project that I actually did in, um, in Final Cut Pro and I basically added the widescreen bars in in Final Cut Pro. I took a screenshot of it and then I sent it over here to Premiere and then I matched up the dimensions of the video with the Final Cut Pro widescreen bars to make them have the exact top and bottom width and dimensions and things and such and such. So what we need to do first of all to get this done is we need to double click on our clip right here, our clip that doesn't have the widescreen bars and then you want to go over to the effects tab over here go to video effects and then go to transform and then take the crop effect and drag it on top of your footage. And then once that's done, go here to the effect controls. And then as you can see under the crop, we have left, top, right, and bottom. We wanna only focus on top and bottom so that we can crop the footage from the top and the bottom to make our widescreen footage. Now, you can drag these along, as you can see here, you can just drag these along to fit them to fit whatever dimensions that you want to. However, when I matched them up to my screenshot that I took from Final Cut Pro, the dimensions for the top and the bottom were both the dimensions of 12. And once that's done, as you can see, we've cropped our footage right here to give it widescreen bars. Now, if you wanna make this a preset so that you can just drag it onto any clip that you want to in the future so you don't have to manually enter in all of these values, just go over to the crop the little crop effect right over here right click on it and go to save preset and i'm going to call this whoa sorry widescreen bars and then i'm just going to click okay and then if we go here to presets as you can see here we have our widescreen bars preset saved and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here and drag in another copy of our clip as you can see without the widescreen bars and man that is just a very flattering picture of me wrestling a gigantic stuffed monkey. Don't ask, that's a long story, but we're gonna go up here to effects, presets, and then drag in the widescreen bar preset that we made, and boom. There we go, easy widescreen bars with also almost no hassle at all. So anyway, that's how to get some really quick, easy widescreen bars in Adobe Premiere Pro. This isn't a really advanced tutorial. This is more for the beginners that are just moving over from Final Cut to Adobe Premiere. So I hope this helped you guys out. Thank you a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.